Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Your requested paper is Improving Energy Saving and Reliability in Wireless Sensor Network using a simple CAT based packet forwarding solutions. Let's have a look on our abstract. Wireless Sensor Network consists of sensor nodes which cover a large geographic area. Sensor nodes have limited processing capabilities. Therefore, a simple protocol architecture should be designed so as to make communication simple and efficient. Energy is the only resource which determines the lifetime of wireless sensor networks. With the aim of reducing energy consumption while taking complexity into account, we propose a novel approach that splits the original message into several packets such that each node in the network will forward only sub-packets. -sub the splitting procedure is done by an algorithm called Chinese Remainder Theorem which is a simple modular division between integers. Let's see the data flow diagram for our project. Start the process. Connect sync and sensor. Form networks. Establish path between sync and sensor. Connect cluster with sync. After connecting, send the cluster details to sensor. Cl the cluster details are received by the sensors. Sensor transmits the file to cluster 1 based on the cluster details. Cluster, divide the file using CRT and send the encryption details to sync. Then it sends the splitted data to cluster 2. Cluster 2 receive file in respective nodes. Then it sends the received file to cluster 3. Cluster 3 receives the file and transmits the file to sync. Sync receives the file from clusters and decrypt the file using CRT based on the encryption detail from cluster 1. Stop the process. Let's have a look on our project demo. First, we have to run sync.java. Click the button connect to sensor. Now enter the port number. The port number must be 3 digit or 4 digit or 2 digit too. Click connect button. After that go to projects run sensor.java here enter the IP address of the server and enter the port number which you have given there 456 click connect now the sensor and sync will be connected after that click the button find clusters it will show the number of clusters between the sensor and sync after that click generate path button it will generate the path between uh, sensor and sync so after uh, generating path click data processing here click connect clusters after that run cluster one dot java first then cluster 2 dot java and finally cluster 3 dot java go to cluster 1 click connect button 
it will have two frames sync connect and sensor connect in sync connect enter sync ip address and click connect now cluster one is connected to sync then go to cluster two click connect button it will also have two frames one is sync connect and next one is cluster one connect in sync connect give ip address of sync click the connect button now cluster two is connected to sync go to cluster three click connect button and it will show the sync ip address give sync ip address here click connect button now cluster 3 is connected to sync after that go to sync here in this text area it will show the number of clusters and their ip address after that in cluster information click the label click here to get node and get cluster details to sensor it will display the number of clusters and their respective nodes send the details to sensor in sensor that is client click cluster information here click receive cluster details now the cluster details are received in client after that click export data here click the label cluster after clicking the cluster label click the combo box it will show the next cluster now go to cluster 1 here in sensor connect click connect button after that go to client node click connect button here now cluster 1 and client node is connected after that send cluster details now the cluster details are sent to cluster 1 go to cluster 1 now here click receive data in this we have two frames one is cluster details next is receive data in cluster detail click the label receive cluster information cluster information has been received now it will show the next clusters and their ip address so after that uh, go to client node here click search button A dialog box will be open. Select any file, whether it may be image or it may be text file or it may be document file. Select any file. Click send format button. The selected file information will be sent now in uh, cluster 1 in receive data panel click receive format first after that go to client node click send file the file has been sent now now go to cluster 1 click receive file button now the file has been received after that click export data button click find next cluster label after that select the next cluster in j combo box it will show the number of nodes in the next cluster 
then go to cluster 2 click connect button in cluster 1 panel in cluster 1 click connect button now the clusters are connected after that click CRT button here it is showing the received file size we have to enter prime numbers to split the file because Chinese remainder theorem accepts only prime numbers and the multiplication value of this, that prime number should be greater than the file size or else it will not encrypt the data now the file has been splitted send the details to sync after clicking this button go to sync in sync click receive file here click receive details now the encryption detail has been received in sync Now go to cluster 1, click back button, here, now click send data, click node 1, in cluster 2, click receive data button, here, in node 1 click receive file then click node 2 in cluster 2 click receive file in node 2 click node 3 in cluster 2 click node 3 receive file finally node 4 now the splitted files are saved in respective nodes in cluster 2 click send data button here click find next cluster label and select the next cluster in combo box now click send data go to cluster 2 in cluster 3 click process data after that in node 1 panel click receive in cluster 2 click send file in node 1 and node 2 now the respective node uh, files are sent to node 1 in cluster 3 now click receive button in node 2 in cluster 2 click send file button in node 3 and node 4 so all files are sent to the respective nodes after that click send to sync now go to sync here in receive file button click receive file now the file has been received in sync after that click CRT decrypt 
now the data has been decrypted and the received file size is matched with the original file we can conclude that the file has not been modified anywhere in the transmission process and we have achieved our uh, energy saving process in respective clusters by splitting the data into packets using CRT and transmit those data in respective nodes. That's all the process is over. Thanks for watching clickmyproject.com.